I Fish with BCF is proudly brought to you by BCF, Boating, Camping, Fishing. Suzuki, the ultimate outboard, and Steel Line, Building Australia in Steel. <laughs> what a fish! That is huge! That is incredible scenery. <laughs> what a shot! We did it! <laughs> oh, this is huge. Oh, what a beautiful fish! It's a nice fish. That is magic. I just love this. Kookaburras are happy to see me. It is bright and early. I'm in the country today. I'm taking something that is very difficult and I'm making it even harder. I'm going to try and catch a Murray Cod and I'm going to use a fly rod. Seriously, it's crazy, but sometimes you just have to try and hope the miracle happens. I'm going to open this gate, then I'm going to close it because that's what we do. We're on a farmer's property and we're very, very fortunate. A kind farmer said I could fish his river. Come along. the right way. I'm so eager to get this early morning bite. My only excuse is that it's very dark. I've just come through the gate so I can now step over the fence to go back to where I started. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. the deep bit. <laughs> We've picked a bit of river that's totally covered in reeds and I cannot get a cast away. Just gotta keep pushing forward, hopefully I don't miss this bite. I reckon we've got about half an hour of bite left. I'm gonna make the most of it. Oh, it's got him! Oh, oh, that is so cool! Oh, I can't believe it! It's a Murray Cod, I think it's a Murray Cod. It's a, what is it? It's a Murray Cod on fly. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, stop it. Now, I don't care if it's the smallest Murray Cod ever caught in the world. Murray Cod on surface, on fly. Sometimes dreams do come true. <laughs> I am so apologetic to all the people in the world who can actually fly fish because you just saw a spud pull off the impossible. <laughs> it was just a puppy, but that is a box considered ticked. There you go, buddy, look at that. There we go, here we go. Away he goes. something out of nothing and use the current to my advantage. Just gonna let that drift down a bit. Let it get right in the zone. Using the current to get the fly down. That's where be. Right on that log. Get in there. Get in there. That's almost perfect. Just patience here. I'll give it a little bloop to let him know we're here. Yep! Go! Go, big 
It's fish. It's a good fish too. Oh, this is not easy. It's not easy. It's a solid fish. I've got him out of the snags. That's the key. That is the key. Haven't seen him yet. Haven't seen him yet. Oh, I've seen him. I've seen him. Look at that. Look at that. These things, the florid can go in the water. It doesn't matter. These things are amazing. Now, they are all about the implosion feed. He comes in, he hits, and with cod this size, that can be about it at times. But cod on fly, most people have not even rolled over for the second time in bed yet. So damn good. These things, believe it or not, they grow to over 200 pounds. That is what the myth and legend says. They are just incredible fish, and I reckon the greatest freshwater sports fish on the planet. Guess what, Australia? They are ours. How good is that? Incredible fish. If a potato, a spud like me, can come and catch cod on surface on fly, that's making life as hard as you could possibly get it, then you can do it too. Remember, damn mighty things, you just never know if you give things a go. I cannot tell you how pumped I am. Whew. Some may call him the Murray Cod. I call him a great way to start the day. See you, mate. Look at that. Hey, let's go that way. Hey, <laughs> Bring my boots. Oh, there you go. We'll put you there. Look at that. Oh, look at the dorsal fin. He is going back to harass some bait. See you, mate. Just found this beautiful little rocky gorge. There should be cod here. Just a matter of working that popper and getting it to really bloop. It is just so pretty. Had we lucked on this first light, I reckon we would have nailed a stack of fish, but unfortunately, we went at the wrong spot and worked up. I'm using to catch these cod today on surface is a BWC popper fly and you'll notice there's a loop knot on the front there. That is called a Rapala knot. Learn it, it's an absolute gem. And the idea of the Rapala knot, that nice loop, the fly has beautiful pivot and moves through the water beautifully. If I tie it directly, it'd be quite stiff and it just wouldn't have that beautiful movement that's gonna lure those cod in for the bite. He's a nice fish too. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's almost legal. Come and have a look. For all the things I've done in fishing, that is up there. Look at that. It's, a, it's almost a legal Murray Cod on a fly. He's absolutely in engulfed it. And what I did, I walked around this bend, I found a nice bit of dark water where the sun hadn't quite touched, and that is the ultimate. Murray caught on fly, that's got to be close to the ultimate. Then, surface fly. I cannot believe my morning. It's about as good as it gets. So I've taken the time to swim this beautiful fish. Way too important this river system for me to do any damage to it at all. It is just sitting there beautifully. He's actually clamping down on my hand so I know he's ready to go. So, one last look for you. I'll put him there and he will just disappear beautifully. He's got the arch in the back. Come on, mate. And away he goes. Look at that. What an absolute beauty. He's just thinking about it in the current. Come on, you can do it. He's going to go downstream and gone. So damn cool. And you may wonder, why has Paul got his fly rod and reel in the water? Fly rods and reels, they're made to go in the water. Just give it a rinse, which is good to go again. I've just driven four hours to Lake 
Bull and Mero in West Victoria. Today we're gonna to chase some Chinook salmon and some beautiful tiger trout. And it's amazing just how incredible this G-Fab trailer tows. When people buy a boating package, they often don't think too much about the trailer, but I'm here to tell you, it is an essential part. You get a good one. Not only does it tow beautifully, but how easy does that boat slide off and on this trailer? Now I have some pretty specific expectations of a boat trailer, and it's really important when you're getting a trailer for your boat, you get one that is going to do everything you need to do. A couple of things I did. Light truck tires for when I go off road. I've got two spares. If you're gonna get in trouble, I've got it covered twice. The boat catch makes launching an absolute dream. And one of the coolest things, I've actually got an extendable drawbar on this trailer. I was here three years ago, this ramp was being built and I had to launch off the bank. That drawbar gives me an extra two meters for low gradient ramps. And it's fantastic when there is no boat ramp, so you can still get the boat in the water without a drama. So when you're buying a boating package, old or new, always make sure you get the best trailer you physically can. It separates your boat from the bitumen and look after your trailer. Every time I launch, I always take a good minute just to look over my trailer. So one opportunity you get when you haven't got the boat on it. So look for a quality trailer. For me, that is G-Fab. They literally make the trailer to suit the boat. It fits like an absolute glove. And seriously, as I said, an absolute work of art. How often is it someone comes up to your incredible rig and goes, nice trailer. I tell you, it happens to me all the time because it is. This fishing and boating was proudly brought to you by steelline.com.au. Interesting fact, on the river this morning, catching some beautiful Murray Cod on fly. It has been sensational. The good news, Murray Cod, like Southern Bluefin Tuna, have both made a miraculous comeback in the last couple of decades, all due to fantastic management from people who really care about fish. Slight change of pace. I've seen some fish feeding behind me, pretty sure they're European carp. They're just stirring up the mud looking for something to eat. This fly is a woolly bugger. It's actually a trout fly, but I reckon that small profile, it'll be exactly what these carp are feeding on. You'll see it's wet, I'll wet it, so when it hits the water, it'll sink straight down. Let's get in the water and see if we can find one. There's one just here, I've just spooked him. Oh, he's on the fly. He's on the fly. I've got a carp in the shallows here, and he's looking at my fly. I've put a small woolly bugger on. Oh my God, he's one inch, he's actually eating off the bank. Yep, got him, got him. Oh, got him. Oh, that's amazing. We saw a carp feeding. Oh, it's a cod, I think it's a cod. It's not. It's a Murray cod on a woolly bugger. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Look at that. I put a woolly bugger on because I saw a carp moving around in the shallows, just mulching around and my producer said, how about a woolly bugger? So we put a woolly bugger on thinking, oh, I'll give it a try. I literally had it in the water, saw all the dust get stirred up. And that is a Murray cod on a wet fly. Seriously, sometimes you were just kissed. Kissed by an angel. Listen to those cockies. Even they're laughing at me. They're just so pretty. Look at that motley back. Oh, I love these things. I'm a little bit biased. There you go, mate. Look at him. Just so pretty. Away he goes. Murray Cod and a woolly bugger. Unreal. There's lots of fireplaces and there's countless lavatories. A peaceful water feature that makes catering a breeze. A home here in the outdoors is BCF in, BCF in fun. Hey! 
Oh, I love to keep the keys up the pee because I'm a cacarat. <laughs> Versus and Mayho offer an award winning range of tackle boxes and storage cases that will make you the envy of all your mates. This amazing range of units are developed in Japan from high quality materials and they come in a huge variety of colours, sizes, and styles so you can find the perfect fit. No matter what you're looking for, Versus and Mayho will keep your tackle tidy and you organised. Let's take a closer look at some of the absolute standouts in this massive range. The Mayo Bucket Mouse series are a rugged and versatile range of hard boxes. They come in a 5, 7 and 9,000 size. The 9,000, an incredible 35 litre storage capacity. These sturdy hinges are just fantastic. You've got one each side, open them, the whole lid comes off. Or open one and you've got a hinge lid so you can access all your gear. Very, very clever. I just love the ingenuity of this brand. Seriously, squid jigs and hard body lures, two of the hardest things to store, but not anymore. Look at these eager holders. Every jig sits in its own little case, just beautifully. And then, hard bodies, all of these cases are fully reversible, so one lure sits inside the next in its own special compartment. One of the great things about this range is that there's so many working parts, but so many of them all fit together and work together, which is pretty cool. How's this? A rod holder that goes on the side of your tackle box, so it looks after your hardware as well. So if you're looking for a quality fishing tackle storage solution, that's made in Japan, you can't go past Versus and Mayo. It is seriously good stuff. To shop online, bcf.com.au or check out the range in store. Now that sun is up, it's getting a bit warmer, there's no shadows on the water, I've had to change flies. And I've gone for this beautiful black and gold version, a little bit of a rattle in there, and as you can see, the hook actually sits up. That's a Gamma Katsu hook, sits up. So as it bounces over the snags, fingers crossed, I won't get snagged, I'll just get cod. There are just so many beautiful spots to fish here. Amazing. Change flies. Got to watch the back cast here. That'll do, though. So the gear of choice today, it has been just exceptional. Loomis NRX, nine foot eight weight fly rod, just beautiful, four piece, believe it or not. Sage fly reel, the old 4580, and the line, a Rio eight weight floating, a beautiful floating line. That way that fly can just slowly sink down. When you give it a tweak, it pops up and looks just amazing. flies have gone on a bomber style fly just to get it a bit below the surface because that sun's up a bit high now so the fish are probably going to feed a bit deeper. That's a nice fish. Oh, look at him. Oh, come on, wait for the snag, wait for the snag. That's a solid fish. I reckon that took three casts with that bomber fly. And he is a beaut. Look at that. I'm going to just lean him up, lean him up, lean him up. Oh, my God. Come on. He's clamping down that fly. There he is. I'm going to wash him. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is getting towards legal Murray Cod. 
I think the slot limit is 55 to 75 centimetres. And I love it when a plan comes here. That means they're the fish you can actually take. So you've got to put the big breeders back and put the little ones back. This fish worked a treat. We went from that popper fly, the sun came up a bit. It's around nine o'clock in the morning now. Straight to that bomber fly, gets down in streams. I just felt whack, and it's all about that implosion feed. And then pull as quick and as hard as you can to get him out of that timber because it's everywhere. 40 pound tippet, you can pull pretty hard. And today is fast becoming one of the greatest days of my fishing life. I'm just loving this, and I literally cannot believe my luck. Another beautiful Murray cod on fly. I just can't believe it. I am literally overwhelmed. Off you go, mate. There you go, look at that. Oof. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. I love it. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube for everything iFish TV. And don't forget our website, iFish.com.au. Well, the question I get asked more than any other is, Paul, how long does it take to make an episode of iFish? Well, it's this simple. Some days are diamonds, some days are stone. Today, an absolute gem. We started fishing at 6.30 a.m. It is not even 11 and we've got an absolute cracker. Murray Cod on fly. Wow, I almost need to pinch myself, in fact, Yep, that actually just happened. iFish with BCF is proudly brought to you by BCF, boating, camping, fishing. Suzuki, the ultimate outboard, and Steel Line, building Australia in steel. Oh.